Yo, welcome back. Today we're swapping a fuse board with the apprentice. Ted's here. Hello. Not going to be mean and like point the camera in his face again because it's only technically his third day working with me. Just work experience during the half term. So today we're on a bit of a different one. We're swapping this fuse board here. We've got an isolator down below so we can isolate it. But as you can see, this was last installed. Wow, well, when was this installed? Um, 93 and then it was um, recommended for last inspection in 98 and as you can see it's not been done it's very old old crab tree board needs ripping out someone's already dogged out the shower circuit so yeah we're updating it with a few spare ways as a potential for car charger and all sorts so let's get this updated and then we've also got to carry out an eicr at this property um, just a certificate so they can rent it out. Let me know down below what's your thoughts on whether an EIC, obviously when you swap a fuse board that's valid for 10 years, if that has hierarchy over an EICR certificate. I know technically they're completely different things or I think you can get away with it if it's a new build and it's less than five years or it's been a full re uh, rewire, I can't speak today. Let us know down below what you think of that. We've got all the goods in here, so we've got a Verso fuse board, we've got loads of RCBOs, got a few spare ones, I've got a few jobs coming up where I'm going to have to um, add some additional ones, some ad additional circuits. So it's quite handy, tends to be in the cameraman and then also watch me doing a fuse board because it's only his third day with me, I'm not going to say like you can do your own first fuse board. There might be bits, obviously you can let them have a little go at, but yeah, it's not really the first job because we've not really done, we've done testing, haven't we? Yeah. Done some data cables so far this week. We've not really done any other hands-on stuff. We've done a couple sockets and that, but nothing major. So I didn't really want to let them do a fuse board yet because uh, it's a bit mean. But yeah, let's have, take this off and let's have a look what we're working with. Ah, so that's different. Different to the one you saw the other day, isn't it? Yeah. All of the cables going in here. So as you can see here, that's actually cable they've used as a grommet strip. Yeah. They've just stripped it back. Um, but yeah, so we've got smaller tails. We'll be upgrading them from the isolator. Um, we're putting in a bigger board. And we've got one, two, three, a ring main. And then we've got a new circuit wired in that looks like someone's wired it in off the cooker circuit. So that's naughty, that is. That's a new twin and earth cable. So we'll figure out what that's doing. Right, so we're getting the Verso board out. Obviously, I'll uh, show you guys how I like to prep my boards. I have forgot something, like an idiot. I forgot a tails gland, you know, which goes in the bottom to bring in your 225 mil tails and your 16 mil earth. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna space the board off, you know, come in the back of the board um, through the grommet strip. Board we're fitting is a lot bigger. Um, we've got surge protection with the MCB. We've obviously got the main switch and then we're gonna have RCBOs in here. So we'll take this off and we'll get this prepped. Now we can look and figure out what circuits we're going to need. Straight away, you can tell the smaller cables, they're the lighting cables. So we've got two lighting circuits. So we're going to need two six amps, you know, the smaller ones. Yeah. We've got a 20 amp, you know, for that new cable we've just found. So that does a socket in the little hallway we figured out. So we're going to have two sixes, a 20 amp, a cooker, you know, the big thicker cable. Yeah. So that will go on a 32. You know that house we went to the other day? Yeah. That was on a 45, so that's too big. So I've got to go back to that property and downrate that. Um, and then we've got another circuit in the fuse board, which I'll have a look. We've changed the fuse board as well. You've got to remember when we were looking the other day, you know, the gas bonding. So the gas and the water, making sure they're a big enough cable, so 10 mil, and then also testing out, all right, it's a bit of a gray area. If they're a smaller cable, but test out within the 0.05, you're fine to leave it. I, I, I personally feel, like a house like this, if you just pan over here a bit and just show, if you just show that off. So it's like, it's a bit of a weird building, it? it's like a flat, yeah. but then it's not a flat, like it's double story, it's, it's, it's a bit of a weird one. So I know the gas and water meter are under the sink there, under that big bay window. Yeah. So it's like, how, how can we get a cable sat? I could get it dead easy from there, clipping it along the front, but then you've got to think of this, he doesn't own this whole building. Technically, he only owns this little bit, whether or not you're actually allowed and you have to get, because it's council as well, not this bit, but the other bits are council. So whether or not you'd have to apply to the council, get permission to have something that's unsightly as such. You see how that's an old fuse board and there's one, two, three, four, five, six circuits technically. You're only capable of having six circuits there. This, you're capable of having about 12 or four, I think this is a 12 or 14 way with surge. And obviously you can see size wise there, we're pretty much exactly the same size. And then like height wise, it's a little bit higher, but we're talking like an inch if that. Um, 
So yeah, the newer stuff is a lot more better. A lot more better? That was great English. It's a lot better and a lot more compact. Oh my God, I've just noticed as well. Look at this. Look at all that slack there. I can pull back and uh, strip it back and make it nice and neat. That is like a dream, electrician's dream. All that slack there. Um, and it comes from the top as well. So whether or not I knock out some knockouts on the top, make a groove, grommet strip it, and then I'm gonna have to space off the back as well. Or hmm, we'll have a look. We've just figured out what's what. So I've done the dashes, showed Ted that. So we've got upstairs lights, downstairs lights. This one's a mystery. We don't know what it does. It's a one mil on a 15 amp. Currently it's still on because we've just gone around trying to try and see if we can see something that's on, but we can't. So we'll just figure that out once we've stopped the board. Then we've got a ring main, then we've got the cooker, then the new circuit there actually runs all the way down here, it comes down there, it's clipped to the door frame, goes through, and then goes through to a socket the other side, just straight to um, like a hoover socket, so that's not that bad, it's clipped direct. Not really a lot you can say about that. If there's it's a little bit loose under my matting, I'll put a few more clips in it. So I've just explained to Ted how everything works on this old fuse board and stripped it all out. Obviously you understand now how the cables work as such. So you've got a small roof and a six mil, but then you just asked me if the neutral was the same size. So I just explained about that, why the neutral and live are the same size. So it's a fairly straightforward board top here. We've got them to pull out, tails are all off, everything's out. I've just got four flathead screws to take off and then we can yank that board off, Ted, and then we're ready with a blank canvas. We have got a bit of an all sorts. So we've got a bonding cable there, which should just about reach. Cause I'm gonna like bring it in the side there. If not, I might just have to extend that just in the fuse board. Ain't ideal extending bonding, do not really menu, but the only other thing, oh, actually tell like the only other thing I can do, I can wire that straight into there. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Um, you see how them other earth cables are going in there. So I can probably pull back. I could take that one out. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do that. Take that one out. Cause that one comes like this and goes up there. So I can pull that one back, bring that one into the fuse board and then I'll swap it with that one, just to say putting another joint in, because you're not really meant to extend bonding cables. And then I've just said as well, we're gonna bring through, even someone's disconnected the shower, I'm gonna bring it through into the new board, just so in case they ever do want a 32 amp, six mil supply into the bathroom or upstairs, they've got one that's easily can be wired in. So I'll bring that through and just tape it off and just hide it in the board. We've got 25 mil new tails in, using the tails gland, We've got the new 16 mil earth in, the 10 mil bonding, which goes to the gas or the water, I've gone straight into the main head rather than extending it, which you can all agree that's better, rather than putting another joint in, adding more resistance. So we've got all the cables there. Me and Ted, Ted's got the washers and screws ready. We're just gonna wrestle this through, bring the majority of the cables through this hole, and then probably bring the ones that are a bit more redundant. So this shower cable that's redundant, I'll bring through that one and then probably the some of the lighting ones as well. So we'll start with this big 32 amps at the start, and then we'll go to the six mil, six amps. We're a bit further, so it looks a bit of a iggledy piggledy mess at the minute, but we've got the three lighting cables through on the left-hand side, because we're gonna put the six amps there. We've got, well, one of them was on a 15 amp, but I'm 99 percent sure. It's a one mil, so it's not going back on a 15 amp. Then we've got the cooker on this side. We've got this, extra socket for the hoover there that's going on sound radial and then we've got a ring main but it's easier to test it all here so obviously we've got the test out we're going to check if this is a ring fingers crossed everything else has gone wrong to the edit head yeah. so fingers crossed this is actually a ring main as you can see i've had to make some extra holes to mount the fuse board um that was just because trying to space it off here and screw it yeah it's not possible so what i'm going to do is obviously you can't get your fingers in there to get your fingers behind the board it's physically impossible but i will seal that all up same as the hole there i'm going to seal that up right so i've bent all the other cables out of the way and we've got the ring main so our ring main works like i explained the other day we've got one leg and one leg how i explained it to you is it's a big loop isn't it so we're testing with continuity between live of that side and live of this side so we'll go run continuity we've already zeroed it out so we'll go on one, that's if it's not stuck to my finger, go on the other, and we're getting a reading there of 0 0.64, so I'll remember that. Then we'll try neutral to neutral on the big ring. 0 0.65, so that's fine. They should always be about the same or within 0 0.05 um, tolerance. And then earths, this is always gonna be higher because you know that's smaller cable than the size of that. So 1.49, that's about right. Now the other test we've got to do is on 
here is R1, R2. Normally you'd use the little crocodile clips, but we're not here, we're just doing it like this, so the old way. So clamp them two together, so we've got one earth of one circuit and one live of the other, and this is gonna create a figure of eight. It's a little bit over your head, because obviously you not fully understand how ring rings work yet, but I'm just explaining it for the camera purpose. Um, so then I'll do the same again, join this together. So 0.43, so it's a little bit higher than a four, so I'll just double check it's fully in. Right, we're a lot further on. If Ted comes a bit closer to the camera here, so you can see we've started, everything's all wired in, nice and looped up. Um, the earths, I've shown him how to obviously sleeve it all up, push all the slack behind the breakers, make it all hidden, do some nice bends. Just keeping everything uniform, like you said, it's faffy, it's taking your time and it hurts your fingers bending it all, but at the end you left with all these nice looking fuse boards. So he now knows how to do a nice neat Instagram fuse board as such as this one will be shown on Instagram. So another little thing we're just gonna show off is anything with singles going in it. So I'm gonna double that over now. So if I just grab these, twist that, flat that like so, and then just make sure it's not sticking out and then give it a twist. So that will now go in that RCBO doubled over so it's got more surface area to bite on. So that's the cooker wide in, the ring main in, this is the radial for the hoover socket and then we've got three one mils. Obviously the one was on a 15 amp so we'll do a bit more investigation on what that is but I want to quickly get these wired back in. All ram band them back out of the way, get it wired into the isolator. The earth for the gas, I've wired that into the main head. Obviously the main earth will be going straight into there. Um, get our new PFC, ZE, all that jazz. And then, yeah, we can get some more testing done. We've tested the cooker R1 or 2 whilst it was out. We've tested the ring. So there's not loads more tests to do. We've, and I just said to Ted, like, I've not even screwed it on. Like, if I go like that, it comes off. So there you can see the absolute masterpiece. Obviously, I still need to seal up the back and uh, do a few other little things. Obviously, test it all. But, yeah, it's looking good, isn't it, Ted? Yeah. Um, just got to put a few more cable ties around on some bits. But I said to Ted when I popped the lid on, I said, oh yeah, that, that's it, we're done now. And he's like, oh, that sound. I've not even wired in the main tails or anything yet. So yeah, a bit mean. Got a wire in the main tails. What else we got to do? Put the buzz bar in, torque everything up. So you know that screwdriver I had out the other day where you turn it and it goes, yeah. so that's like when it's at the right, right yeah. torque setting. So torque that up. And then, yeah, just do some more tests, really, and then fill out the EIC certificate and the ICR one, and then go around the property. We found a few things already, haven't we? Yeah. Some exposed where he goes there, so technically there's live conductors you can get your hands on. A few other things, but simple things like that I'm just going to fix, because the homeowner, I know. Another thing I was explaining to Ted whilst I was making this off, hence I've not really spoke to you guys too much, is try and make these just so it looks a bit prettier and you can clearly identify what's what. Similar, the same heights, obviously, it, sometimes you do come a bit short and you can like push that down to make them all exact, but just make them look a bit better as such. So spend your time, make them look better. It's like bringing them down and tucking them down. So everything looks presentable. And uh, ultimately I'm gonna show the homeowner this with like take a photo with the lid off, show them and they're happy with it. That's just done. So we've all unbanded those. Brought the main earth all the way round, down into the head. Isolator's all wired up, all round banded with the twin and earth cable. So it's all nice and neat. Everything's looking nice and neat. Just got to fire seal it up. We've took out the main earth so we can get a PFZD reading. So let's get that now. So this should start auto testing. And I reckon about 0. Yeah, 0 0.13. So that's a really good reading here. So that'll be filed on the report. I can get this main earth back in and then we can turn it back on. Right, you ready, Ted? Moment of truth. Let's... Uh, Let's see, so main switch on, buzz bars, everything's torqued up. So we've got the cook first, cook's fine. Ring main, that's fine. Normally it's the lighting that's normally the issue. Yeah. Socket, that's fine because it's surface clipped. Mm -hmm. That one's fine, that one's fine. And, right, so it might be a shared neutral. Right, about 30 seconds later, moment of truth. No word of a lie, isn't it, Ted? 30 seconds later, yeah. just piggybacked them across. I didn't think it was a shared neutral here, but Hey ho, so let's moment of truth. Aha, there we are. The lights are on, jobs are good. We had one moment where I thought, oh God, here we go. We've got hours of testing to figure out a fault, but no, quick, easy fix, shared neutral. So just stop for a bit of lunch. So I was nice, give Ted the pop-up pop a ball stool thing. And I've contracted my own little seat of some tile adhesive, Milwaukee pack out and velocity stacker. So yeah, what you got to eat, mate? What we got? 
Sandwiches, sausage, sausage rolls. rolls, you've got all sorts going on. I've got some croissants and Nutella, so yeah. Well, uh, catch up in five. We're just going to have something to eat and fill out some certificates. A few things I found, just a bit of like single insulation on show, just fix that when I was there at the switches. Um, and then I found the connections to deny in there. So we've just got to put a whisker box or Wago box around them. And that's about it, really. I've filled out both of those certificates whilst we we're having some lunch. We're all tested, we're all talked up. I've sealed up the side, sealed up that side. Um, sealed at the top through that hole there. So it's all sealed up. I've just not gunked in loads in the back because I've sealed all sides and through the top there. Oh, the door's shutting. <laughs> it's gonna squish me. So all that's left is la brother label printer it up. Ted's over there, brother label printer. It's printed off the dates so he knows where to stick them because we did that the other day. And then obviously I've got to put on here the sixth monthly test and then the dual wiring. So that one there, Ted, the one with the big yellow yeah. bit, it's just saying that it's got different colors. So obviously we've got the new colors there brown and blue and then you've got all colours red and black um, and then all the other stuff is just my contact details and fancy stickers from vinyl guys so we'll get that stuck on on the lid i normally put it underneath the lid and then i might just put my fancy adam dunlop electrical one on for a nice show because at the end of the day who wouldn't be proud of that nice neat fuse board so we've come to label everything off we're using the brother label printer which ted's got there i've got the brother pro label app on my phone so we've selected 12 usable ways fuse board. So we've got the main switch, we've got cooker, house sockets, hallway socket, unknown, lights. Then we've got some spares, and then we've got SPD, SPD, SPD MCB, which is that, and then you've got the SPD alongside it. So change that to 12 mil, and then click print, and that should be coming across to you any second, mate. Yeah. Is that printing? Mm -hmm. It'll take a bit of a while to print this one. So as you can see now, there we go, that's coming out. And that's it, we're all labelled up. Got one of my fancy stickers on there. Got the nice Verso sticker, we're all sticked on. Brother label printer, it's ever so slightly off. I should have really put some spaces in, but I think that's pretty clear what's what. Do you know what I mean? SPD, MCB, lights house, unknown, uh, hallway socket, sockets, cooker, main switch, and then I've got all my necessary stickers up there. Recommended date of next, in next inspections. That sticker there, I've not really, I could stick that on the front there, but do I want to ruin it? Nah, I don't think we are, because all my contact details and stuff are on there anyway, so any further work, so they can get in touch via that. Oh God, we've just got back in the van. Oh, that was bright. It's just started raining, as you can see. Lovely. We've got back in the van. Overall though, what do you think of that? Good day. Yeah, not too bad. Obviously it's only like, what, two o'clock? Oh. Mm -hmm. What? It's never that time. It's nearly four o'clock. Obviously we're taking the time, explaining everything to Ted. Filming obviously takes a lot longer and then the homeowner was here so we had a good chat with him for an hour um, and then ran through everything because he's got a few other properties as well. So yeah, taking my time today, ran through everything. Obviously if it was me and Nick there, would have got in, smashed it, got out. Fairly new to as well, filling out the certificates all by myself as well. So it's all a learning curve and writing down the different observations, etc. So yeah, overall though, you've seen ripping the fuse board completely off, going back to basics and then fitting all the new devices which obviously i do quite a good job so yeah it's all right you've, you're thinking nah i could do it there but yeah overall today's been pretty good obviously end result really happy with it tested fine so yeah jobs are good and on to the next one and verso board really nice fitting so nice one bye